still, because of social distancing, the numbers are a lot better than had once been feared. That's why Tennessee Governor Bill Lee says his stay at home order will continue until the end of the month with plans for what he calls a phased reboot of our economy next month. Our chief investigative reporter Phil Williams has been digging into what led to the governor's decision. Phil. Well, Vicki, the governor was faced one with evidence that stay at home is keeping the COVID-19 health crisis from getting out of hand, but he also seems to be taking the lead of the president. In cooperation with guidance from the White House, we'll extend our stay at home order through April 30th and plan to begin reopening our economy in May. Now, while his stay at home order continues until the end of the month, Governor Lee says he's forming an economic recovery team to draft plans for how different industries can go back to work. He says it's important to protect employees and customers until a vaccine is eventually developed. We need Tennesseans to go back to work, but we also need everyone to recognize that physical distancing must continue for the foreseeable future. And tonight, a state webinar conducted last Friday for Tennessee health professionals reveals how Lee's administration continues to struggle with its response to this unprecedented crisis, even quietly planning for the worst. In New York, the number of COVID-19 deaths so overwhelmed the city that refrigerated trailers became makeshift morgues. Uncertain what the future holds here, Tennessee's chief medical examiner told healthcare workers officials are taking no chances. Um, we have uh, secured some refrigerated trailer trucks through TEMA that we are distributing across the state. That is going to be happening next week. Um, Right now, we feel that we have adequate capacity to store the predicted number of, of bodies if there is a surge in deaths. One model out of the University of Washington predicts a peak next week at about 23 deaths statewide per day, although the outer reaches of that model suggest it could be as high as 70. A new model from Vanderbilt suggests the peak for hospitalizations may not come until mid-June at current rates. Lifting stay at home, the researchers say, would send those hospitalizations skyrocketing. I think we would all like more testing. Um, we are trying to ramp up testing over the course of the next week, but there are a lot of rate limiting steps there. Experts say the true number of COVID-19 cases and associated deaths is probably worse than what we know. That's why Vanderbilt researchers concluded any reduction in social distancing must be paired with reliable and speedy testing and contact tracing to keep disease spread under control. But testing a state doctor admitted continues to be an issue. You have to have the specimen collection capability, the viral transport media, the correct swabs, which are actually in, in pretty short supply. And contact tracing, figuring out who may have been exposed, the doctor said is still a question of resources. So we're in the process of trying to expand that workforce to um, recruit people who can help us with contact tracing that can be done remotely to make sure that, um, that all of those contacts are followed up with. In the webinar, it was also revealed that the chief medical examiner's office is reviewing recent deaths to see whether the real death toll among the elderly, for example, might be even higher than what we know.